The 80-20 rule, the rule that will change your life, boost productivity, and also shift your perspective on how the world and time works. Basically, just read this book called The 80-20 Rule by Richard Koch. It dives into Veltrefredo Pareto, an economist back in the 1900s who was studying the resources and land of, of the world and saw that 80% of the allocations of all the resources at the time were to 20% of the population. What does that tell you? Well, that tells you that you should be spending 20% of your time to yield 80% of the results. That's the premise of this book. My name's Dylan. I create motivational content, real life content based around business, career, and fitness. And I live to what I say. So I read this summary. I thought it was good. I thought I'd bring you the value that will help change your life. So it is true. 80% of the results come from 20% of your actions. And you have to approach life knowing that, right? getting a text here so by knowing that and these are raw talks so stay for the raw talk one take shots and I'm gonna throw it out there just to start this new series where I review books and summarize the key points so that it can help benefit you but basically you need to take this rule in effect whether it's with your business your career your relationships or even the gym I've been applying the 80-20 rule since Q3 of this year, so only a couple months ago. And when I've been doing that, I've realized that my productivity, the way things are getting done has changed. Everything is more impactful. I'm making bigger strides, but doing less work. So this rule theoretically allows you to do less but more. Don't be the 20-80 rule where you spend 80% of your time on 20% of your outcomes. I'm not saying that that's a bad thing because that 20% of outcomes is actually someone else's 80% of outcomes it's because there's only a finite amount of resources on this planet. So whether it's a relationship business, there's only so much market share you can capture. But by you implementing tasks that are high impactful tasks, you're going to succeed more. How do you start doing this? So to really start implementing this, first understand the concept of the 80-20 rule. It might seem simple, it might not, but understand that there are certain tasks in your life, and I don't know you personally to coach you on your entire life, but you know that life is dynamic, so there are certain tasks in your life that will yield large results. So first understand the concept. Two, you need to understand that time is one of your most valuable assets, right? Understand that everyone has the same 24 hours in the day. By understanding that Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, who are giants, who are larger than life, doing innovative stuff to change the world, they have the same 24 hours. You will know that, you know, they're not they're nothing special. They don't have extra time. So realize time's your most valuable asset. And once you realize that time is your most valuable asset, you can understand that you can allocate certain things to certain tasks that will again yield results. I know it's repetitive, but the third thing is once you understand the 80-20 rule, once you understand that time is your most valuable asset, you need to analyze and do a deep dive of what you're doing day to day, right? If you want financial success and you're not achieving it, what task that you can do tomorrow has a high probability of making you move the needle? So it's very different for everyone in their life, hence why I don't want to give specific results just getting emails on emails and texts here. But for example, if you're in sales, is tripling your revenue going to be servicing the same clients, right? There's a reason why they say if you want to double, triple, quadruple your revenue, don't sell more. If you have an existing client base, extend your service. Or are you in another part of life where you haven't even picked up the phone yet? So your most high probability impactful task you're going to spend eight hours on or whatever hours is picking up the phone down. That's going to yield you the most results than let's say, organizing your calendar, etc. So that's the third thing. You gotta do a deep dive into where you're at currently and then start listing the productive tasks, the productive actions, right? Put this towards fitness. Everyone knows fitness. I think the biggest impactful movements are 
compound exercises. So you're gonna start by focusing on the compounds, not the little accessories you know, you're doing at the end of a workout, not the machine work. You're gonna focus on compounds to yield the greatest results. The last point about the 80-20 rule that this book summarizes that will change your life is surround yourself with like-minded people. The saying always goes, if you're hanging around four millionaires, you're gonna be the fifth. And that is so true right you only have so many you have a lot of friends right you might have a lot of friends you might not but you need to make sure that the close relationships because humans can only have so many close relationships it's in our bandwidth you need to realize that these relationships will determine the type of person you are whether you're successful whether you're not successful it will truly determine your final outcome and you only get one life so make sure you understand the type of people you hang around with and you understand that this will dictate your future. So those are the four action steps I want you to take today. That is how you're gonna implement this 80-20 rule, right, by Richard Koch, um, the Pareto principle. So if you're new to the channel here, you enjoyed the summary and you enjoyed the conversations, I'm gonna do one of these a week. I'm gonna do a book summary a week to benefit your life, whether, again, it could be in any scope, any realm of, of interactions or activities, right? but I just want to be able to help you out. So DM me on Instagram if you need help with fitness. I started my base with fitness, started my first business at 18, and now I'm in sales. I believe these books of self-improvement, sales tactics, marketing is very beneficial, and that's what I talk about on this channel. So subscribe, comment if you liked it, raw, uncut videos that are here to benefit you. So we'll see you in the next one. Check out my other vlogs. I live and breathe what I talk about. So. I'm always testing, I'm always creating content, and I'm always trying to get better. Thank you guys for watching.